Ooh, it's a dark, cloudy day out there. It's only 9 a.m., but... Nice and wet. Nice wet day. Alright. Uh, got some, uh, aside from barks and more tape. From my crazy tape. This, I got some nice heavy duty speaker wire here. Trying to find an end. There's an end to it somewhere. Maybe I should be looking for a beginning. Damn it, I saw it yesterday. Well, anyways, heavy duty, nice heavy duty speaker cable, and I got some nice marine heat shrink. Um, it's actually kind of hard to buy a big kit of nice stuff that isn't outrageously expensive. But I mean, I think this was like twenty-three bucks, something like that, for a ton of pieces, just for uh, just for radio. So it's nothing important, or else I wouldn't be using them. I don't have an entirely large collection of them. I have a lot of wire. But my collection consists of a few stragglers. You know, these are the really nice ones. They're not the uh, heat shrink and marine ones. Which would be nice for inside the trunk for the amplifier. Yeah. So, so I'm just going to get started on some wiring. Um, definitely take a couple more sips of coffee. And get started on the inside. Uh, I really want to concentrate on the main loom today and get as much of that taken off as possible. Get that chipped out of my head and then start thinking about uh, the doorway and uh, basically this guy right here. Start thinking about that. Might do a little bit of Bonding over there. I just got a tiny bit left to sand over here with like the 80 grit and whatnot. I haven't touched really. But majoritively, it's pretty much done and ready for first kind, first time primer. See what it looks like. Um, yeah. So gonna get started in here. All right. I guess first of all, I guess I should get cleaned up a little bit. Got tools and shit everywhere. All right, that's a little better. So, I'm about to get started here. So, I got my troubleshooting electrical manual, which is just a bunch of supplemental crap. Um, as far as wiring goes, like electronic mirrors and stuff, which I want to get fixed on this. Um, and then I also have um, screenshots of which, uh, for the wiring harnesses, which wires I need to keep. Like uh, E16 or whatever the hell it is. Uh, it's kind of dependent on what your system is, as far as pinouts go. Um, I'm gonna take a peek at that, figure it out, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get on that side and get working. A little update here. So I got the main relay um, all labeled and cut from the ECU. It does have a random plug on here. I believe it's the coolant temp sensor. Um, it goes from the main relay to this plug. This plug. And then up into something over here, yonder, into the integrated control unit somewhere. I don't know, I'll figure it out later. But so I've got that separated, and then the only other wire comes off of this for the uh, um, underhood fuse box. Let me back this out. It goes out there, plugs into that piece, um, along with this guy, and something else, I believe. So I got that separated. I've got the clock slash, um, well, I believe that's all clock actually. Clock and ECU separated over there. Main relay separated. Um, so I've got a couple more wires here that go into the harness that come off and up into this guy that I got a label and snip. And then um, hopefully I'll be extremely close to. Pulling the rest of this harness off of here. It should be just these wires here, but we'll see. Alright, so of the four wires that were left on that, there's a little yellow and a little blue. And those went off into the ejector harness that I clipped all at once, which I found over here. These match up perfectly to these two, yellow and blue. 
that go off into the harness somewhere, which I'm not entirely sure where they end up. I have a feeling it might be alternator and, well, alternator, but I'm gonna have to rip this harness up past here to figure out where it is. Or I could break out the old multimeter and see if I got continuity. If one of these is a power, then it's going to have continuity mold. I'm just going to rip open the harness and find out where it goes. Probably. Um, so that'll be these two. And then the other two that came off, the big boys, right here. Which came off and went into there. Also came off of that part of the harness. Which are these two. So... I also need to rip that open and find out where those two go. The only thing really thick enough on here to warrant that would be the this guy, which is the uh, distributor power. Um, so that's black and yellow and a little bit thinner blue I think I used no because that's got to be this is the OEM stuff because it's in the OEM harness I believe unless that's my doing it might be my doing can't tell until I get to touch the adhesive if you know what I mean but yeah it continues on so these two go up into the harness gotta figure out where those are these two gotta figure out what these are um, one of the other wires that's left over is this one which goes out to the 12 inch fan relay um, that would be a 9, 10, 11, 12, a12 I think and relay 12 inch yellow green um, into the ECU this says 12 inch fan on it it also goes over here out to the uh, injector harness that went out that way with these other wires so I gotta figure out where that goes why it would come off the 12 inch fan and go shoot out that way while well, the other one goes that way I don't know we'll see though moving on all right so I tore it all up <coughs> what I found was the blue wire does indeed go to the distributor and the yellow wire goes to a green and yellow nubbin and I don't know where this green wire goes but I'm pretty sure this green wire and this yellow wire are the reverse reverse lights that snapped off and I ended up cutting and re-soldering onto the transmission. I believe, I believe, I believe. Um, that's my working guess right now. Cause uh, that snapped off of the, um, it broke off of the thing. So I'm pretty sure I cut that quite a long time ago considering the amount of schmutz that's on there. It's quite a bit of buildup of uh, road stuff, like on here. Um, so, uh, the blue wire is the only thing that I really need to know off of this harness. And that goes to the distributor. So now I can label that and move on with my life. So this is what I believe uh, was my fix. Because this goes over here, on here. Kind of here, I haven't followed it all the way yet, but I have a feeling that's my uh, I don't know, maybe I should figure out exactly where that goes. But this mystery plug that um, I was trying to remember, I believe, is the other end to the uh, reverse light plug that I wired up to the transmission. I was just looking at it, it's got a plug on here like this, makes sense. Um, but, like I said, it goes to the main relay, and then to the power, to the, uh, under the box 
under the hood fuse box. The, I don't know. So it's, that's where it's getting the power. And then the green, I believe, is the ground that goes out to the uh, light, the power, or the ground, or something. Something like that. Pretty sure this is. Uh, I'll get over there and figure it out real quick. I had sort of followed that guy over here. This one, you can see me pulling on it. That one goes over here. Wraps into here. The third one down. Third one down over there. Goes into here. In fact, everything in this loom goes in here. Down yonder. So, I believe I've just confirmed that that is my, indeed, my reverse light switch. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut that plug off of there and label those and again move on with my life but seeing these um, these spare ones that I had running over there these are all with the exception of I believe just the one they're all going into here which means that they are all coming out the back I'm going back this way um, just kind of been using that pink one as a guide see where that goes but the pink one isn't in here so we need to figure out where that terminates somewhere in there uh, it looks like it curves off it goes to Ooh, I might have just got lucky goes down this guy and it looks like hey look at that that would be the clutch clutch so I might actually be using that for something else so I might be hiding my in fact I am going to hide my clutch neutral safety switch so I have to hold it down somewhere inside of the vehicle it will be a little tiny button that you cannot see with the naked eye that will in fact be my neutral safety switch Along with the fuel cut off, it's buried in the car and a bunch of other shit. So, <laughs> even if you can't get it started, you're only gonna drive it about five feet or about three seconds if you know how to drive a manual. So, anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna figure out where a couple of these guys go. And like I said, clip that thing and move on with my life. I got a little more cleaned up. Um, I started putzing around these guys over here and I realized that the first two wires are for those speakers. The second two wires are red and white. Go to these guys are right here. So those are gonna be gone sooner or later. Um, yeah, if it goes uh, out to the thing, like lighting and whatnot, it's this one. If it goes into the door, it's this one. Those are split right there. Um, these guys go off to um, this one goes off to the main relay and then one of the wires shoots over to the ELD under the dash fuse wiring which I have all over here so there's that I haven't buttoned anything up because I'm probably going to end up shortening a bunch of these wires and resoldering them and placing it somewhere in here um, maybe not so much right there because I want to keep my glove box and my Heater, so probably somewhere over there. So we'll have to figure out uh, when that time comes where I want to put it. But as for that, I've got my windshield, my wiper, blower motor stuff here. Got all my clock stuff right there. I did keep the uh, everything's labeled that I touched today is all in blue. Um, I still have the mystery wire, which I don't know where it goes, but it goes somewhere that yellow one so that's all under hood dash main relay and that pretty much clears it up with the exception of the uh, mystery yellow one and the blue dashboard one that I cut out of my thing so yeah look at that and I got these two mystery wires that go somewhere into the door I have a feeling they have something to do with the power mirror may or may not have something to do with the power mirror I'm still debating on whether or not I'm going to be ripping this harness out. I don't think I really need to do much here. The connector is good. Um, I'll probably end up leaving this harness alone. 
It's a little segue, with the exception of the power mirror I want to get fixed. So, yeah, I guess moving back over to this side, trying to figure out um, some of these other random wires. But now that I got all the uh, body harness stuff for this side, all the engine stuff is gone. It's all on the floor out here. Oh, my back is killing me. Quit raining. That's nice. Oh, back is killing me. Yeah. So, there's the inside harness, inside engine bay. And then here's the ECU side. What's fucking left of it? <laughs> Whew. We wanted to do this for a while, but I had no idea we'd be, be doing this. Uh, a couple of regular wires, but yep, I guess now I'm gonna try and figure out which ones of these I need to keep, which ones of these I can get rid of. Anything off of this I can get rid of. There are about five or six stragglers on here. So yeah, just keep on chucking. Wire time, wire town, welcome to it. All right, everything cleaned up. We got a couple of stragglers over here. Uh, reverse lights, brake light. Um, brake switch, uh, VSS, those are coming off over here, going like this. We got uh, ignition, blinkers, wipers here, tied into this guy. We got the uh, clutch and neutral safety, I'm not even messing with this thing right this second. Uh, I'll figure out what I need and don't need off of this. Um, yeah, so, figure that one out later. Uh, I'm probably going to need most of that shit on there, so I'm probably just not even going to mess with it because it's already cleaned up and everything. Um, aside from that, I've got obviously all my wires sitting here like such. And then I've got them separated out into, you know, that guy and this guy. So, yeah, everything is pretty cleaned up. This needs to be tidied up, really. Um, that is going to be what I'm left over with. As far as the engine and body harness, right there. That's that. As far as what I took out, I got all this wire. I got all that wire out of the car. Ugh. And all this. All this is no longer necessary. Completely just dead weight now. I mean, of course, the harnesses were. Quite a bit of it, but I want to see what I can harvest off of this as far as plugs and I'm um, sure there's people out there that need this shit, so it's obviously not going to any kind of landfill. I can just clip that right there and sell that on eBay for 10 bucks. Somebody needs that. So, um, I know these pigtails, they're a little beat up, but I might be able to just save the shielded wire from them, sell those separately. People need this stuff. It's one of the reasons I'm going with K is because uh, lack of availability for parts and whatnot. I always want to save the wire, but I got it's like three of these things full of just random wires. I'm trying to throw it away eventually, but yeah, that's a hell of a lot cleaner. All right, let me see you. A dash thing, brakes, whatever, uh, um, blinkers, uh, wipers, etc., clock. Wiper, motor, blower stuff, um, main relay, under dash fuse, uh, these two I gotta figure out where they go to, and that's that. I've literally got, that is done and good to go, but that's taken care of, and I can take a peek at this mess. Mess number two, which is a lot of um, radio antennas, lighting, etc. It's really not as messy as it looks, so I'm gonna go ahead and untangle this. All right. So I've got the stereo inlet with all the speaker cables I don't use. This is um, the power, the OEM power, ground, and battery that I've connected the new stereo to, the old one. I also have the antenna booster, uh, or the dual antenna splitter, rather for um, this antenna, which is this guy right there. And then also the secondary antenna, which goes up and along over here. So those both plug into this, and this goes into the back of the stereo. 
So I've got the antenna, the power, the stereo, and this is uh, the subwoofer power, and this is power, uh, ground, and battery to the backup camera, and my mirror, which is the backup camera. So that's that. I got this is an extension of battery, which I don't know if I'll need or not. Um, down here, I've got an RCA cord, which I ran. It's nice heavy duty, and while I was running the speaker cable, the speaker wires, which are here, I also ran that. Um, I decided not to deal with the speaker wires yet. I'm gonna wait until I'm actually doing the speaker wires. These are for the lights, the fog lights that I am currently not using. Um, I haven't figured out where I'm gonna put them yet. Not that I'm not using them, but I just haven't figured out where I'm gonna put them yet. And last but not least, I got the cop horn here. Cop horn. So yeah, I got cop horns, antennas, um, backup cameras. Everything's all easily accessible, cleaned up, tidied up. Um, the only thing left, I was able to save some of these zip ties from the firewall. I go like here and hold the original loom. They were really big, but I'm not gonna need that much now. So I'm hoping I can reuse them. I just clipped them really close and then pulled the other side out. Got a couple, couple big ones, couple really short ones. I can use them where I can't, but there it is. I'll tidy it up. Whew, just giving my back a little break here. Um, I tucked all of the wires into that plastic thing. Now that everything that was in there is gone. So everything tucked in there. That looks a little nicer. Um, and then I taped it up. The wires that I had remaining right there. I gotta do it to this side still. And I taped it up. Got that little T-shaped thing that plugs into there. Wrapped on there. Routed it around and down. Oh, wrong direction. Rode it around, brought it way back here this time so it's not gonna get drilled in half again. Luckily I put six inches of wire in the middle there. <laughs> then back over here, one of the middle T things. Plugs into there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much where I stopped. I also tied in the uh, uh, brake light uh, dash switch, dash gauge cluster switch thing. So, yep. Yeah. That's that and this, and then uh, I'm going to do this guy here. I hadn't planned on doing the speaker wire, but I cut it and I started bringing it back, and I thought, you know what, it's still... I don't even know what time it is. Four. It's four o'clock. It's still light out, and I'm still going, so... Um, I'm just going to keep at it, keep wiring, and uh, see what kind of speaker cable I can get run today. If not all of it. Alright, started this uh, little project going here. I uh, got my first ones ready. Now I'm gonna pull eight of these down and run this through and cut myself a nice a hearty length. Alright, so I just got done making all all of my wirings so I've got the four speakers here and then now I have a um, two three four speakers and now I was working on the uh, subwoofer one um, I'm kind of I have to put a kibosh on this for the night because I don't have the uh, speaker connectors so I had to order more you know, those ones that go on the bottom like these smaller ones, or a small one and a regular size one. I got plenty of regular size ones, just not any of the smaller ones. <clears throat> Which I need to get on this guy. Here, the subwoofer. Um, that's just gonna be like a little three foot cord. So I thought I already cut that. Oh, I see what I did. I made, I made the cord, but I didn't cut it. It's there somewhere, I think. It's down there somewhere. Currently using that to balance my yeah. So I made the cable for the subwoofer. I just haven't cut it yet because I don't know the length on it. And I was using it for a 
steady steady holder steady holder uh, this thing's holding up pretty good didn't take my little case off down in there it's looking all right a little sawdust still dusty and stuff uh, it's not mold I haven't seen any mold in there at all but this guy lives in the garage pretty much all the time this is in there to keep it from just rattling back and forth I do need to find something better you know I do have all this styrofoam I bet that would be better in there probably huh something like that huh let's think about that one um it's actually not a half bad idea. I mean, I just put a big piece of black foam or something in there, but we'll see. I'll have to see on that one. I'm getting pretty tired. It is currently 6.30. So I have done my eight hours today. I feel pretty good. Um, tomorrow is going to be the paneling. I was discussing with a friend of mine about the soundproofing and, uh, what we came to terms with is that everything should be soundproofed. <laughs> but where to start? I only got four of those things. Um, I believe they're 9 by 17? 9 by 17? And I think there's 10 sheets in each one of those. You do the math. 40 times 9 times 17. Parentheses. Um, don't forget PEMDAS. So... Yeah, It'll, whatever it will be, uh, I want to cover at least the firewall and the ground. That way I can start putting stuff up and start putting stuff back. Um, firewall especially. It's going to be a pain in the ass because of all the curves and shit and yada yada yada. I could just put a flat piece across or I could bother to dimple it and whatnot. I was thinking about starting with the floor and then we have, have random spare strips or whatever. It would work better up there, but this one I'm just thinking out loud. <sighs> Looks good. Looks good and clean for now. You can clean. All right, it's the next day. Uh, kind of picking up where I left off. Just kind of putzing around with some wiring. Uh, just getting stuff cleaned up. And I was going through this and I saw the two wires I needed. I figured out the white one goes to the starter and then the yellow one goes off to the uh, well distributor, wherever it went, right there. Yellow and black and distributor. So I got those taken care of. And uh, like I said, I was just kind of cleaning up. I'm going to hold off on that. Saving some of those. Uh, just kind of putzing around and I started um, waiting on the Amazon delivery for my little clips so I can finish my speaker wires. Kind of at a standstill on that. And then, uh, so right now I'm just getting high as shit. Doing brake clean, cleaning off the back wall. You can see where I already stripped some paint there. Just starting to get started on cleaning this up so that I can get uh, my soundproof, um, whatever, 200 mil something stuffed in here. I think it's 80 mil. I don't even know what I got. I don't remember anymore. Once I do all the research and buy it, I'm kind of done thinking about it. It's un unlabeled. Heavy shit is what it is. So yeah, uh, for now, just getting started on the... Rock's Rocket. Getting started on cleaning this up. And it's cleaner. I'm gonna let it defume, defumigate for a little bit. And then uh, start sticking stuff. My plan is to pretty much just cut little strips cut little chunks off and go from there uh, let's get this out yes, I got that out and realized I don't have anywhere to work on it so now I gotta clean this off it's one, one thing it's another alright that's a little better it's blue this is very blue loud and proud Amazon Basics I really like it. I like it. They're connected, are they? They're just stuck together, aren't they? 
Other than the fact that it's blue as fuck. Alright, that's a pretty good sized piece. Looks like I need one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the back. And there's 20 in the thing. And I got four of them. Or no, there's 30, 34. I think there's 34 in here. Nah, that can't be right. It's gotta be like a 20 pack. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pack? Man, well, whatever. Anyways, I got a shitload of these. And I better get started. Alright, so I got a little bit of one sheet done. You can see I've kind of started really kind of just piecing it together. Looks much nicer from over here. This car's about to look like a... Well, funny enough, like a, about like an Amazon space rocket. <laughs> it's a spaceship, but orange and blue, you know? And any weird little stragglers I get, I'm just kind of sticking up there. Um, I feel like you can reuse these pretty good. I already lost a piece of my glove. Light blue piece right there. That's my fingertip. So uh, yeah, I think this warrants a uh, high speed shot. I just want to take a, take a quick break here, show some progress on the inside. Uh, I saw one of the guys <clears throat> online, I was looking for tips and tricks to installing this stuff. And one of the things I saw was a guy really quickly had mentioned a, a trim, trim tool, trim remover tool. You know, for like shit like popping off shit. And uh, I think he's gonna be right because the scissors were helping, but I think this thing's gonna really get in there, help me out a lot more. But all right, see if I can't get a better time lapse uh, angle here. That one's kind of far away. Done. That's good. You take a little break. I think that's about a quarter of the way done. I got a little bit up there. I'm not sure how far I'm gonna go. I think I might remove this stuff and replace it and then put this back on. I'm not sure if that's some kind of waterproofing or what. It appears to be vinyl and cotton. I think it's just sound deadening, but I don't know. We'll see. Alright, Amazon showed up. Got my random assortment of 
varying sizes. That was nice. Good to have that. I uh, also got this switch, which I don't know if you can hear that. That's going to be for the cop switch, the cop horn. Barely touching that, and it's going to be like this. <laughs> It's gonna be sweet. <laughs> uh, I got like three more coming. Uh, I couldn't decide which one I wanted. It was nine dollars for one of these, or eleven dollars for one of these, and um, like thirteen dollars for two of them. Or no, it was nine dollars for one, and eleven dollars for two of them. So I got two of them. I said fuck it. Um, yeah. Let's see ya. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with the other one. I think I should do something with it. But I'm just really excited about the very minimal pushing you have to do in order to get to click. There's a nice little micro switch in there. It's just, I mean, I have micro switches, but I don't have anything there. I almost got like a trigger. It's like a replacement trigger. I thought about putting it on my shift knob so that when I shift, I go, ah, 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 like with a trigger. Like on a drill, is a replacement trigger for a drill. But that, no, that's, well, that's pushing it. <laughs> but, alright, I'm gonna finish my break and then continue onward. so far um I see it looks awful but <laughs> being all the contours and stuff I'm glad I got all the hard shit over with um now it's up and over a little bit more underneath here and folding it over I decided to pull this off and um yeah pull this off and soundproof this too this is pretty hollow sounding May or may not put that back on. I am going to keep it in one piece though, but right now I need to stand up, take a break, because oh, I got scissor legs like something crazy. It's actually turning out something nice. Yeah, it's good. <laughs>
right, so I'm um, getting down to the point where I need to cut off the ECU bolts. There's four there. So I got the thing, I'm just gonna zap them off real quick. Out a little bit, I'm trying to keep it on a tripod. So there. Is what? I guess I'll take it off. Yeah, like I said. So there is what one box has got me. One box. Uh, there's the floor here. Footwell. All up underneath. Looks fucking crazy. But there it is. Uh, one box almost all of it if I hadn't done that floor that one floor piece I could have done the whole under dash with just one box it's on there man oh, my thumbs are killing me I think I'm gonna finish off just the dash part here and then maybe switch back to wiring or I don't know it's already like 3 30 and I gotta work tomorrow so I still need to have my relax time and shower and laundry and stuff but uh, I should be able to get this dash finished up I will be excited to be able to put on a whole bunch of full sheets I was able to do two or three full sheets here like right there and I think that one and the floor one but uh, I think the ceiling it's gonna be fun should be able to slap quite a few on there pretty quick um, we'll see how crazy I go with the doors but for now Whoop whoop.